Hey. We love texture yarns. We try to explain that to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the theme for the day is slubs are okay. Slubs are okay. <laughs> Everyone say that. <laughs> slubs are okay. <laughs> Halo. Called Halo. The good stuff. If it was a cow, it's the good part. The good parts. Now, on a sheep, remember, sheep eat notorious area on top of one another and have that ridge line of hay. If you, if you take a sheep blanket, normally you got to skirt out the poop area. Mm -hmm. and you got to take that ridge line and throw the legs. Okay? And then you're just taking the sides of them. Okay? And some of the legs. Okay? But most of that stuff. You know, that, that ridge of that back, unless they're blanket, which 99.9% of them will never blanket. You just got to throw that away. Because it's, it's in there and it's just not It's all the way down to the skin. My mom's got a couple sheets. Yeah. <laughs> what about, does anybody have her, um, do buffalo? We don't have anybody in this area. Yeah, because there's the area, area yeah. that way. Yeah. It does get done in this area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's I mean, like air. It's like air. Is it? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many different things people do. People do dogs. Yeah. Chingor. No, I know. We saw a lady at Maryland. She's been wool doing her uh, rabbit. Uh, sitting her rabbit on her lap and weaving from the rabbit. Yeah. 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 I have some of her palm fur. It feels just like rabbit and gore. You can't tell it <coughs> apart from the softness. That's how soft it is. Yeah. So, I mean, it's um, I get you do just about anything hand. Right. Machinery really, really requires about a mm -hmm. When we come over here and we show you the reason that three inch staple length is, is required is because those red rollers on the top, uh -huh. yeah. down into the frame, you need that three inches. Oh. That's oh. That's oh. Inches. Oh. And then it's going to be short. It's right on top. Yeah. And then it's going to be short. It's going to be short. When you're talking about fiber, it's got to make it travel from coming off the drum into this. That stretch. So it's got to have something that's going to hold it together. Now, Surrey is notorious. Right. Surrey is very like hair like. It doesn't have things that hold it together. So, not, not enough scales? Yeah, well, I mean, or sheep have burrs. Right? Yeah. Uh, wool has burrs. Oh, okay. Packa doesn't have burrs. It has a crimp. Uh, because it's curly. Yeah. So, crimp is what holds it. 
We're evil. We're evil. Too. He lucky he ain't grab his butt too. Probably more than probably. Yeah. comes in. Has to be blended with something. And normally you'll blend it with my baby. That's what that's what this is over here. Janet can show you that in a little bit later, but that's Surrey with twenty percent of the and that's actually spinning beautiful. It's one of the better and personal <laughs> <laughs> Surrey. Doing good. Mm -hmm. Where's Dave Michael? Alamoo's. Doing good. Mm -hmm. I saw your son had a big tattoo on his chest. I just came by to get your phone number so people can get in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> I get in I get in trouble. That man stopped me the other day and said, What's his phone number? I've left him quick. I said we don't change. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to call you and change numbers. I said, I guess I'm gonna find this out. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I tried yesterday. I told him it's just phone messed up. Yeah. But you've got, I'm certainly not going through the 300 plus contacts. Yeah. Although you, y'all would really appreciate this being a guy myself. You know, I send my wife and the daughters, and I send them new number, right? And I put the new number in there, but it comes from the new phone, so they don't know who the hell it's from. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad says new number. <laughs> new number. Said, my new number. And so I get a text from, from the new number saying, this is my new number. And you're like, who are you? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's not why I would have said it. It wouldn't have been that nice. <laughs> No, I'm not losing weight. I'm not losing weight. Yes, you are. I weigh the same thing I weighed the last time you saw me. <laughs> How much have you lost to you know? Total? Since the diabetes started? About 23 pounds. Girl. Still ain't under 200 yet. And I'm still not under 200 yet. But I'm heavily muscular, though, and I'll never probably be. Yeah, so. Well, I have having moments where thought process is not quite connected like it should, but I think that's the medication. Because um, it didn't start until when I started taking the medication. So I'm going to look at the side effects again and see if it's the medication. Because it's like we can be talking and I know what word I want to say. It doesn't come out. Yeah, that's not Yeah, so. And you see your doctor. Uh, I'll go back in February for my three months check it out. I just mm -hmm. I lost two. I'm not losing my big talk. I'm going to share it here. But my bad cholesterol and cholesterol are almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bad. Yeah. Bad here. Yeah. Good scared, but they're close. So, okay, stop. You're taking a robot. Mm-hmm. Follow me on the fish oil three times a day. Mm -hmm. And he said that'll bring it. See, my problem is my low cholesterol levels are low, and my high cholesterol levels are normal. But my low ones are they're so low that the ratio is too far off. Right. So it makes it a bad ratio. That's why. And I gotta bring. I actually have to bring my low up. Yeah. <laughs> I bitch slap you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Through the pin drafter? Unless it's for Terry and one year. Just saying. <laughs> Why bother? Yeah. Why bother? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. The product that comes, that <coughs> my experience with the product, and I think I can speak for Juanita, is the product we get off of the Carter for for hand spinning purposes is soft enough and everything's in alignment enough that it's not needed for our purposes to run it through the pin drafter. Mm -mm. So we've told Eric and Jana that save yourself the trouble, let's just find the way it is. We actually prefer it straight off of the carter. So but when they run mm -hmm. it through the machine, yeah. you all have to pin draft it through your spinning machine. And another reason as a hand spinner you want it coming off the carter is as a hand spinner you want those fibers wrapping around themselves um, when you for spin plying. for plying purposes so it, it does a good tight ply. Because if it's too aligned for some people, it'll be like too slippery, too smooth. It's not going to give you that hand spun look. It'll look like when I spin the silk. It don't, it doesn't look hand spun. So you know it, it keeps that rusticness to the fiber. It's a little easier to draft when it comes to, for a hand spinner. Yeah. So now, oh, probably the most important thing that you all remember as hand spinners is how thick you want to draft. Okay, and that's going to be critical. For you. I'm going to run it as as heavy as a this cloth right. of carbon, unless you tell me otherwise. Mm -hmm. Because it's not it's running, it's running four ounces of energetics over the wool. For our packets, running about two to two point two ounces for every two minutes for our packet. That's how long it takes. So, if if you want what we just ran last night, which was wool light light roving or thin roving, slivers. Okay, we're going to take what we normally run at four ounces and run it at two ounces. I just know that it doubled our time to run that. But it helps some people, right? It's not as much to draft. Lazy people. Stick to <laughs> but you got to, I mean, you got to have to yeah. have it. But that's probably the most important thing for y'all as hand spinners, is to tell the male how you want the load. Okay. And that's really the, beyond that, there's nothing really to ask for. Right? Mm -hmm. and yeah. How you want to split it. And say please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> be very nice to that. Mm -hmm. so, this is an old, doing you a favor. Yeah. <laughs> this is an old 1974 pin dragger that came out of a mill in North Carolina. Michael's actually taken it apart once with a number of other people. Um, I had a reason though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Was there body parts in it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I spent a couple hours with my hand stuck in there, and <gasps> Mike came and, and was very manly with the machine to get all apart. Wow. <laughs> and I only have 18 <laughs> pictures on my phone, so if you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> Girl, I watched my uncle. He got picked up by the train. My finger stuck in there. You can't get your hand in there anymore. But in a lot of cases, it's 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 like that. Yeah. 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 Ye
song what roving looks like. Can everybody that's over there see? Because we can see. Yeah, we've seen this before. So we can move. We've seen it all before. They're going to do the class next year. No, I just, there are people in the way. Okay. Okay, we'll have the old people. This is the and this is some of the Surrey Marino that we've been talking about. And if you look at it, you can see it's actually lined up. Yeah. So you can see the line. So it's ready to spin. Um, oh, I hate it when I wasn't paying attention to it because I don't know what yeah. to say. You're good. You're on top of um, it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say something wrong. And then, you know, but, um, He's in man world. You're good. Okay. He's talking to me right now. You're good. 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 Once we have it all lined up, it's prepared so that all the little microscopic scales on the shaft can lock into place and twist. So we bring it over to the spinner, and we'll probably, this is someone else's product, so I can't run it with y'all, but we'll probably set up some more arena and let y'all see how it runs real quick. But um, the spinning machine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm listening, I swear. Yeah, they're, they're eyes. Are just I know, they're <laughs> Can I just have that now? <laughs> I want my blueberry. I want my blueberry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you going to share that? No. She doesn't share that. Oh, color match. This was me. This was my custom order. She said, that was just put together. It's tasty looking. Thank you. Erin, you just been very covetous today. I know. So pretty. What's Erin like? You got Look at the color. We had all our uh, merino color matched um, with the ARI color chart for our alpaca. So when we blend alpaca, we can blend to the color. And this is dark fawn alpaca color. Beautiful. So that way, when we're making our blends, um, with the exception of some of the bizarre colors, obviously, we don't have alpaca in that color. Um, we're not taking these colors. We're not taking away from the actual alpaca when we go to make a blend. And why have you been feeding them that glowing green stuff if you weren't going to try to get colors like this? <laughs> Eric says they're green because all the money we put in. <laughs> We brought you to the fiber mill. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get spanked? Just talk to your <laughs> elders <laughs> like that. We have beer in the fridge. <laughs> 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 Eric heard that. <laughs> 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 Eric heard that. Eric heard that. Eric heard that. Spinning hadn't changed an awful lot since what was it? The industrial yeah. age, yeah. the 1700s. He's got the clock. And that's why she comes out. <laughs> but it hadn't changed in hundreds of years. It's the same basic principles. We're pulling or drafting and we're twisting. Great. Uh, this machine is set up so that we can take a three inch staple length and bring this bar all the way down to here or we can tension it up. We have a lady that has Winsendale and she comes in with a 12 inch staple length. Wow. And I can pull my machine up to handle the, the tension on that. And it has luster. It is. It's oh my God. It's it bad. It's sinful. You don't want to ever got, see we this. We got to look at <laughs> it. It was like. It, so it was like. Is she gonna sell some of this? So that when it's on the skate laundry, you can look across the room and see the light the Oh wow. Winsdale. It's a type of sheep. And it's sheep. Actually, they don't have a hundred percent Winsdale in the United States because they. I guess ate them all. <laughs> 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 they don't try to bring them back in from Europe. They wouldn't let them come in because of hoof and mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So they're having to artificially inseminate long-haired sheep or ewes, take their babies, and then they get up breeding. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So they're coming up. They on their part will get yarn in or fiber that will come in and will be, you know, Winsendale 90.3 percent or all these different percentages on their back. So they're almost at as close as they're going to get to right. a purebred, but they, they'll never have purebred right. since the United Anyway, so <laughs> this part of the machine is for tensioning. So we get it tensed, we bring it through behind these rollers. <coughs> And we run it through the rollers, and this part the tens tensions it, it spins on the spool, just like if you were hand spinning it. So our spools, God, I'm not working. So Rotate. our spools twist, we can adjust the tension, we can adjust the height, and we can also adjust how tight we're twisting. So where we would do some softer yarns, we do it a very loose twist, versus a soft yarn or a lace weight yarn, it's going to be really, really tight. So we can adjust that. Now, when you adjust the tension, when you adjust the tension, do you also have to adjust the speed variable for whatever fiber you're spinning? 
to an extent. Okay, because I know when we spin, we have to adjust our treadle speed with our tension. Right. We, we do more speed adjustment for thickness of the yarn. Okay. So the slower we put the yarn into the machine, the thinner the yarn is going to be. Doing a warp weight weight is coming in. We don't do a lot of bulky weight just because the wools and the, and the alpaca doesn't work as well bulky. Mm -hmm. You get a bulky alpaca and you've got a hot, heavy, saggy oh, yeah. product. Alpaca is a really good sport weight or smaller lace weight. Because of the drape. You'll be, it'll be hanging <laughs> So, and we do add yeah. nylon for sock yarn because it still doesn't hold up real well with, with all alpaca. Um, even though some people can do that. <coughs> I don't do socks. Right. <laughs> sock person. Sock person. Sock person. Sock person. Sock person. Sock person. Mm -mm. But, so y'all know you want so we do add some nylon for that. Um, so what we do is we bring it in here, just like with hand spinning, we have to have a feeder thread to come up and connect, which is what we do. We try and always have alternating colors for our feeder thread, so when we get to the fly side, we don't accidentally end their fly with something that isn't there. Um, when it comes, we have a rooster. Your feeder, you just just cut yarn? No, we use whatever we spun before. This was... Um, What's in somebody else's tail end? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or we actually started with a uh, single ply of uh, some stuff I got at Walmart when we first got the equipment. Since then, we've Whatever. shifted back and forth. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, just, just like we do. Just leave some um, on the bob. If you have a really yeah. thick, like this is a pretty thick. Yeah. Right. I just use cotton. I, actually, I use butcher's mm -hmm. cotton. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So we just do whatever we happen to have. Mm -hmm. so there's yeah, there's a covering the stuff in the bush. Yeah, and I saw that. The problem is if you go I saw that. really thick, and you try to get into a little place where it doesn't want to the trash can. Right. No, I see it. And it has a hard time going through the trash. Um, yeah. That's not trash. We also try to see the oh. condenser in. That's it. You can come lower. No, no, no. I'm yeah, fine. Give me a ramp. Are you kidding? I couldn't reach the <laughs> 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 I had to have a platform. That's, it's not oh, so I have a stage. It's because I can't reach everything. <laughs> 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 you just hit him in the head every time. You look, he's got the little raw spot on his yeah. head. Oh, oh, yeah. But yeah, I can't reach. So yeah, and then my cozy. We have an extra condenser that we put in. So as we start it, we'll slide that in. And it even condenses it and holds everything in place. Just for starting? Just for starting. And then it, no, it stays in there. Oh, it stays in there. If it time. doesn't, you would end up just getting too wide. And oh, it, would, it would just connect. Okay. It kind of rolls and makes a mess everywhere. Okay. From what I understand, I'm not going to be recording. Yeah. It's like a huge drafting time. It's kind of loud. But I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but no directions. I'm sorry. Just run through again. No, to ply, we go on the other side. Mm -hmm. The other side for ply. Go, go ahead. Other side. Hi, I'm no idea. 
Just show yeah. Vicky out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> you guys going to watch the plying? Yeah. They're plying. They're plying. Because I have. I'm getting ready to go get a coat. Here, hold. I'm getting a coat. The energy levels are flat. Oh. Yes. Watch out. Hey, baby. Yeah. 
on the Catch up on the scale. Which is when we start My leg raised on the pounds. You got on, it was already at 200 and I hadn't even finished stepping all over there. Yeah, no. I'm getting off that thing. No, I didn't even know it. See that there? I said, I went, oh, this is the scale. I'm off. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I'm gonna go this way. Even though these jeans are a size six, you're doing good. I'm doing good. But I have I have a reason mine's falling off. So it took getting diabetes to lose weight. Go figure. All that walking, all that running. I used to be on the treadmill every night. Yeah, I probably stabilized. Yeah. That probably helped. I used to kill myself running. He used to come down to the basement and get me off the treadmill, and I couldn't lose nothing. I got a dog, and he stopped, and I eat half as much as I used to eat, and that's all that I've done. <laughs> and the only time I drink a soda pretty much now is, is if my sugar levels start getting wonky. I hardly drink soda. That would be the end of the video. Oh, I'm going to quit knit stuff. It's like, you get so much. I do. Pretty soon she'll be going on camera strictly a week from now. Look at this color. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I know. I love it. It won't run on the... And she will happily spin it for you, Janessa. Look at it. It's a winner when I turn it around. And it comes out, depending on what light you look at it in, it's either blue or pink. There's a blend that she did. That looks like blueberries too. My blueberry, my blueberry cobbler. I know. And the fiber, she talks. And the other custom one is from the time. She wears a And she'll process it for you. Yeah, yeah you should ask her. Yeah. All that new custom blends, all you have to do is ask, and she does it. And, and, and Carrie and Juanita come out here at least. Really? I'll probably triple play it on the spindle. I don't know how to have a Navajo fly on a fly, so I'll probably have a fly on the I don't know how I got caught with the camera, but... Yeah. So we try not to add product, but some of it Yeah. Um, a lot of the mills are super trained. If you're adding two different types of fibers together, there's a cohesion. You have to spray it. We have the same support model that we build up in the um, it's a, it's hard to believe. It's really hard to believe. But um, we started raising the because she's been the long doing the long business. Isn't it true? Yes. Thank you. She has about 20 spindles. That was just all over there. Easy. We had, um, I had back surgery again and a, and a hip replacement. And um, the doctor said, no more. We're like, you don't understand. You're just worried about the house, you're about the land, you're about this. Of course, we told him what he means. He said, I'm riding, I prefer to go out there for delivery, you buy all this stuff, and I'm just going. So we started selling. Mayor's off, you know, a bunch of free mayors, we rescued off the track and stuff. And so we were placing horses and, and 